have the best claim to actually being able to deliver even better than Nike and Apple ever could on people's transcendent values. So um, really thinking about how we pick values that are at the core and constantly message to those values. So the, the, the values, the moral of the story, and then the characters, conflict, and plot that we put in to bring our stories down to ground level, to not make our brands all about concepts and theory of change, but about real characters and real people who we impact. How, how do we do that? Well, I mentioned in the reading the, the hero's journey, the idea that Joseph Campbell had that all stories that really last are based on a simple premise, and that is, uh, or a simple pattern, which is the young hero, so, uh, Dorothy, someone who feels maybe, take Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, someone whose life is in turmoil, sees the world as broken, but doesn't feel that they can actually do anything about it. And then there are things, something happens to interrupt that life, and they meet an interesting mentor character. So this might be uh, the Good Witch, or Obi-Wan Kenobi, or uh, uh, Morpheus from The Matrix. They meet this character who invites them into a magical world where they go on an adventure. And in this adventure, they discover that they're not actually trying to slay the dragon and win the treasure for themselves, but they're actually trying to renew society. These are the stories that every society has ever told um, as, as Campbell looked at all comparative mythology. And it's a very powerful story pattern that is still used in Hollywood every single day to make breakthrough movies. So how do we apply this to our brand? We've got our values, we've got a moral of the story. What can we learn from this for our brands as well? Well, first of all, you need to realize that the hero is an unlikely hero. The hero is not the expert about the issue or the one who's been working in the field. The hero is the least likely person to change the world. And that means that you are not the hero of your own story. Brands need to start realizing and recognizing that touting their own achievements and their own power and accomplishments and asking uh, audiences to sort of just support them and get on board is the old model. Um, it's the consumer model. The citizen model of marketing is to recognize that our audiences are our heroes. And what does the mentor do when they meet the hero? The mentor appeals to their core values. So when God tells Moses to go back and free the people of Israel, he's, uh, Moses says, no, I'm 80 years old, I stutter when I speak, I can't possibly stand up to Pharaoh. And God reminds Moses that he actually once killed a man to stand up for the, the cause of justice. And then he fled into the wilderness. He's speaking to that transcendent value within Moses to fortify this unlikely hero to go back and free the slaves. So, we play the mentor role in these characters' lives. We're inviting them on a difficult journey. If our audiences are our heroes, we need to show them what's possible through an interaction with us. That's the first step. And then if we want to be a powerful mentor, we need to take on the, a true character. Um, we can't, as an organization, inspire people to, to, to treat us in that mentor way. The best brands and causes actually speak to us in the voice of a real individual character. They know what their core archetype is. They know if they were a human being, who would they be? What would they look like? What would they sound like? Um, with the rise of blogs, we even want to get our news from an individual. The idea of the voice of God kind of reaching down and commanding us to act, or a committee of people, or an organization telling us what to do, is no longer important. It doesn't work anymore. A story of race brand will create a character and live that character out, and think of that character, again, as a mentor who's inviting and exciting our, our hero audiences, but never demanding or never forcing them to go, because our audiences must make that choice themselves. So thinking about, if, you, if your brand was a person, what person would you be? And we use Jungian archetypes, which I'll be happy to talk to anybody about after if you want, to help dis distinguish which archetype you might be, and make some tough choices. And in the book, also, there are seven archetypes that you can choose for your brand to start creating a true human voice. The final thing that the, uh, the mentor does is gives their audience, uh, gives the hero some kind of magical item. So the ruby red slippers, the red pill, the, uh, the lightsaber, Moses' staff, and puts it in the audience's hands. They have a special gift that only they can offer that makes this impossible and dangerous journey feel possible. And I call that the brand gift. If our, if our causes and brands don't find something that is an interesting, creative, cool wild card that makes this difficult journey we're asking people to go on, this altruistic journey, this reach for our higher natures, people won't respond. So when Apple first introduced aesthetic design to computers, it was a, it was a non sequitur, uh, but it made, it made incredible sense that people said, yes, I can actually think different because this computer product's amazing. When Obama was this dark horse candidate who was calling us to this citizen empowered revolution, and by the way, had this incredible understanding of the internet that no one else had. That was his gift that suddenly made that impossible journey possible. If you can't differentiate your cause or brand or your theory of change around some gift that makes the thousand pitches your audience is going to hear, hear today feel different, you're not going to be able to motivate them that, that journey. They may love you as a mentor, they may see themselves as an emerging hero, but they want to know what can you put in their hands right now 
and what, is, what makes this journey different because they're working with your particular organization or brand. So the beginnings of creating a core brand strategy that, we can, that, that, that is story-based is quite simple. Figuring out how can we get to know and truly see the heroes of our story, which, is our, which are our audiences. Understanding why they may be reluctant to go on this journey and thinking about what we can tell them, what story can we tell them, what moral of the story can we give that actually will make them believe that so much more is necessary and possible. How can we understand that they're living in a society that's constantly calling them to their lower values and ask what transcendent values are we bringing them towards? And what is the moral of the story? What is the larger picture of how the world works that we're pushing? And how in every communication from a 140 character tweet to a uh, 2,000 word blog post to a book can tell the exact same story, um, can, can give the exact same moral of the story. This is how we achieve brand consistency. This is how we get to have true relationships with our customers and with our constituents and actually start bringing them to be leaders of our movements, not just transactional people who give us money once a year or join our lists and go away. And it's how we can get the kind of results that we saw with the Matrix or the Story of Stuff, where we brought tens of millions of people to actually engage with a new way of seeing the world because audiences are hungry, not for more pitches and not for more commandments, but for stories. So um, I think I'm gonna wrap up, but I'll take any questions you guys have because there's a 300 page book and I just gave you 15 minutes of it. So if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to, uh, to talk, talk to you. If there's these cards on a few of the tables to tell more about the book, the book's not out until July, so, um, but you can scan the code and pre-order on Amazon if you're so inclined. Um, Could you give your name and web address again, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Jonah Sachs, uh, Free Range Studios, and Jonah at freerange.com, or at Jonah Sachs, J-O-N-A-H-S-A-C-H-S. If anybody has any questions, uh, I can take them on the stage, or we can just chat here. Anybody? All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.